Hi there. Welcome to another episode of working with local LLMs. Now, in today's video, I'm going to work with PDF files and extract information from those. So I have two PDF files that I downloaded from internet. I will post the link in the YouTube description. But if I give you some information here, and we will preview the PDF here. So this is the invoice that we are going to extract some information from. And another one is a long document. This is 71 pages document that we are going to use in order to extract some information or to summarize. So before we start, just letting you know that I am working through my local setup and I'm using OpenWebUI with Olama. If this is new for you, you don't know where to start. There is a video I've done in the past for running your private GPT-like assistant on your local machine that can run completely offline. Check out that video. Once you have that, you will see what I'm seeing right now. So to start with, I uh, will first select the model, which I will pick Llama 3 here. And then I am going to upload the PDFs here. So we will start with the first PDF, which is this invoice. So I'm going to select and drag and it'll say add files. As I add it, as you can see, it's doing something. So it's understanding the document, creating a system so that we can start asking questions. Now that it is done, it's time for us to ask question. So I will ask my first question. When is the invoice due and how much oops due and how much amount needs to be paid let's see if i get the answer and as it's thinking i'm hoping we'll get the information so he's saying that invoice is due on january 31st 2060 and total amount that needs to be paid is 1950. now like any other video that you may have seen uh, i trust what the information is but i also go and verify so we'll go back to the invoice and I will preview. So the total due is 93.50. So let me just take this away. 93.50 is the total due. And the due date is Jan 31st, 2016. So if I move the things around, Jan 31st, 2016. So it's correct information that was extracted by LLM. So we'll not stop here. We'll ask further questions. I will ask, are there any bank details? so that I can pay the amount. Let's see what information we get here now. Okay, so it's saying it's the ANZ bank account. The account number is mentioned here and the BSB bank state branch. So let's verify that. Oops, let's go here and let's verify. So let me just make this a little bit. This is account number one, two, account number one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is right here. And the BSB is four, three, two, one, four, three, two. Perfect. So this is an unstructured document for it. It's a binary PDF file, but provided that LLM can understand and we can ask questions, it's pretty amazing what kind of things we can do, even on our local machines, when we get binary files like PDFs. So let's ask further question. I have two more questions that I would like to ask. The third one is for which service I am paying the amount. Let's see, there is an amount. So, and I'm not sure uh, why am I paying and what service that is. It says you're paying for a web design service. Okay. So let's go back to the PDF. It says the service is web design. So matching word to word. Nice. And I will ask the follow-up question. I will say, are there any taxes on top of the service? And can you show me the calculation? So let's see, this is a tricky one, but let's see if uh, Lama can understand. It says, yes, the tax amount needs to be paid. The subtotal is 85 and then the additional $8.50 in tax. This brings to 93.50. So it also gave us the calculation. So let's verify that. So the web design was $85. That is correct. And then there was a tax information, $8.50, which is mentioned here and 8 dollars 93.50. So perfect. So given 
the binary PDF file, we were able to extract information purely on our machine. And this is one of the use cases where if you're not sure, you ask question and you are you want to know how calculation is working. The LLMs today are pretty smart. Even the small ones like Llama 3 that can actually help you out in understanding the document. Now, moving on to our second use case, I will start with new chat here and I will upload the second file. So our first file was only 44 kilobytes, but our second file is relatively long. So it's, no, it's not, it's five megabytes. So it'll take more time to understand because it needs to create a system. It needs to parse all these pages and understand the content before we can ask questions. So this progress will continue for a while and I will pause the video and come back once it is ready so that we can start asking questions. So I will be right back. So the document has been loaded completely fine. I see this icon. It's not changing anymore. So now let's ask our questions. So what are some highlights from this book? Okay, we have not selected the model. Let's select Llama 3 and send it again. Interesting. So it's outlined one, two, three, four part. Before I read that as a part of validate, let me open this book first. This is not sure where that has opened. So this is the book introduction to product management. And this is by a company called Infinity. They have a product. I, re I realize it later. And this topic of the book is all about product management and they have chapters. So based on this 71 pages, the highlights are the importance of focusing on user-centered work frameworks through user stories, how to write clear and concise user stories, step-by-step -step guide of adding user stories, and strategies for setting competitive goals. So... It's hard to go like numbers and find it out. But the idea is that there is no other context that we provided to LLM in this conversation. So considering that this is a good start because reading 71 pages and not knowing where this is going, LLM was able to find out or let us know where this is headed. Let's ask the follow-up question. Are there any product management tools? discussed in this book. All right, so it's trying to find the answer for us. And it says, yes, there are. The discussion focuses on features such as task management, data sharing, and instant messaging. It also recommends reviewing software for product management. So there is mention of product management tools. It's just that it is, it, there may not be any tool name specifically that it was able to find out or maybe the pdf doesn't even contain that so i, I have one final question and uh, i will ask that um, did this book touched upon product roadmap if yes what is the summary for that chapter now i do know that by taking a glance at the pdf that there was a chapter about product roadmap. So I'm specifically asking by hinting if there were talks about product roadmap and I want to find out what Lama has to say about it. So it says, yes, the book discusses product roadmaps in detail and it summarizes this information. Overall, the product roadmaps provide valuable insights and strategies for creating effective roadmaps. So as you can see, you may always not have time to scan through the entire books. But if you have a certain goal or set of questions, and, and this is one of the reasons why I'm focusing on asking good questions and providing context. So the context in this case was the book and asking questions were the questions that I came up with by knowing what topic it is you would be able to learn faster by, by scanning through the documents. And if the document contains specific information like numbers and charts and tags, 
you would be able to find that answer too, because we've seen this in the other use case where we were able to extract the number numeric information. Always I hope this was useful. Extracting information from PDF files is a, is a great use case that can help you understand the world a bit better. Now, considering how long or how big your files are, this may take a little bit of time, but it is one time effort that you can upload. And then after that, you can start asking questions and it will be faster. Cool. So I hope that this was useful. If there are any new things that you would like us to consider, leave a comment below and let us know. And uh, we'll be happy to create videos on those. All right. Until next time, learn, practice, and take care of self. We'll see you again.